Hey guys, this next class is a strength and conditioning class using your dumbbells. I hope you guys enjoy it. For this segment, let's grab some dumbbells. Now, ladies, uh, three kilograms, four kilograms, or five kilograms, depending on your strength, would be ideal for these programs. Um, fellas, let's work, let's start at around about five kilograms. If you're a little bit stronger, seven and a half, nines, 12 and a half. You certainly don't want to go over 15 kilogram weights with this one because you won't be able to finish the, the program. Okay guys, we're going to start to warm up. We're going to warm up just bending forward, working some uppercuts. Now what I'm going to do to get my legs involved as well, you can see I'm going up and down with it. Okay, just like that. Let's just start to warm up together. Let's go for a minute. Let's keep working through those. A little bit of a bounce. I want to start to get my quadriceps involved. You can see I'm keeping my elbows tucked right in. So really trying to warm everything up, get some blood flowing. Get ready for some action. And 15 seconds. Keep throwing those uppercuts out. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One. And relax. Alright guys, just another warm-up exercise. So we're going to go into a very light squat, come up into a light shoulder press. So you can see they're very light, it's not a full range movement, just a warm-up technique. We just want to get the blood flowing. So straight up, straight down. Now as you start to warm up, we can start to increase the range a little bit. So you can see I'm going deeper on those squats now as I'm warming up. Five more, four more, three more, two more. Okay, I think we're ready to start. Bent over rows for this next exercise, guys, watch me. So I'm gonna go knees together, nice neutral spine just bending right over. And what I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna pull straight to my waistline, keep my elbows tucked right in, and drop straight back down like that. One more rep. Your turn. Okay guys, let's get into those bent over rows. Go. So looking at Christina's form, you can see a nice neutral tight spine here. Knees are bent. So knees are bent, so that's not only giving her a nice structural balance, but it's just helping her with her back as well. It's uh, protecting the back. Elbows are tucked by her side, so you can see they're coming straight up. Everything's nice and parallel. Dropping straight down and coming right up to the waistline. Now she's not coming up to the chest, she's coming to the waist like that. Once you guys to make sure you're doing the same thing. You can see nice steady movement. There's no swinging, it's a straight up and down movement. And five more reps. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. And have a rest. Upright rows for this exercise, guys. Now watch what I'm doing. I'm gonna press my dumbbells together, so I'm holding a straight line just like that. And I'm gonna lift, this is gonna stay near my chest. We're gonna lift right up, you can see, elbow to elbow, I'm getting right up to a T, leading with those elbows. Dropping straight back down, keeping the dumbbell together. Right there, and back down again. Your turn. Okay, Christina, let's get started with those upright rows. Go. Okay, so you guys can see Christina's leading with her elbows. 
is perfect. This is exactly how you want to do it. You want to make sure the dumbbells don't leave each other, so we're going to keep them pressed up against each other just like that. And you can see she's protecting her back, so we've got a nice neutral spine. Knees are slightly bent, so it's protecting her back. And let's keep that action going. Nice vertical action. Now she's keeping the dumbbells close to her chest. You want to make sure you're doing that. Work of that range. We're going to finish just underneath our chin, which is spot on. And stretching and resting down the bottom. Go again. Got two reps left. One last one. And have a rest. Okay, stiff leg deadlifts, guys. So I'm going to clasp my weights together just like that. Now, I'm going to keep my knees straight for this one. I'm going to drop forward. I'm keeping my spine neutral, so I'm not allowing it to do this, okay? Just holding it neutral, getting as far down as I can. I'm going to come back up and tighten my back right up again, okay? So let's try one more of those. And your turn. Okay, guys, let's get into those stiff leg deadlifts. Go. Excellent. So you guys can see Sarah's knees are staying nice and straight. Her spine's remaining neutral, so she's not allowing any hunch at all. Let's keep working. Dumbbells are sticking together. That's going to assist her with control. And as you work your way down, you're going to get a really good stretch in the hamstrings and the back of the knees as well. That's okay. Let's keep working with that. Keep working. Excellent. So you guys can see a nice steady pace that we're maintaining. I want you guys to do the same thing. Let's keep going. Two more reps. And have a rest. Good job. Okay guys, get ready for action. We're going to repeat the last three exercises. Okay guys, let's get into those bent over rows. Go. So looking at Christina's form, you can see a nice neutral tight spine here. Knees are bent. So knees are bent, so that's not only giving her a nice structural balance, but it's just helping her with her back as well. It's uh, protecting the back. Elbows are tucked by her side, so you can see they're coming straight up. Everything's nice and parallel. Dropping straight down and coming right up to the waistline. Now, she's not coming up to the chest. She's coming to the waist like that. I want you guys to make sure you're doing the same thing. You can see nice steady movement. There's no swinging. It's a straight up and down movement. Five more reps. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. And have a rest. Okay, Christina, let's get started with those upright rows. Go. So you guys can see Christina's leading with her elbows, which is perfect. This is exactly how you want to do it. You want to make sure the dumbbells don't leave each other, so we're going to keep them pressed up against each other just like that. And you can see she's protecting her back, so we've got a nice neutral spine. Knees are slightly bent, so it's protecting her back. And let's keep that action going. Nice vertical action. Now she's keeping the dumbbells close to her chest. You want to make sure you're doing that. Work of that range. We're going to finish just underneath our chin, which is spot on. And stretching and resting down the bottom. Go again. Got two reps left. One last one. And have a rest. Okay, guys, let's get into those stiff leg deadlifts. Go. Go. 
Excellent. So you guys can see Sarah's knees are staying nice and straight. Her spine's remaining neutral, so she's not allowing any hunch at all. Let's keep working. Dumbbells are sticking together. That's going to assist her with control. And as you work your way down, you're going to get a really good stretch in the hamstrings and the back of the knees as well. That's okay. Let's keep working with that. Keep working. Excellent. So you guys can see a nice, steady pace that we're maintaining. I want you guys to do the same thing. Let's keep going. Two more reps. And have a rest. Good job. work some side squats for this one guys so watch what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my knees slightly bent feet together I'm gonna go right to the side now as I drop down I'm gonna straighten this knee back out and I've got my dumbbells around my other leg and back here let's do one more dropping down and picking it back up just like that we're gonna do 45 seconds on one side and then we're gonna try the other side as well your turn Okay, let's get into those side squats, guys. So you guys can see, this is a kind of lengthy stance that um, Sarah's taking. So you guys want to make sure you're doing the same thing. So with this one, the knee drops right over the toe and the other leg is nice and straight. Perfect. Now you're going to have the tendency to lean forward on this one. So we want to try and minimize that. It's natural to lean ever so slightly. But what we don't want to do is we don't want to fold right over that knee. We want to try and keep it. Um, as vertical as possible. Let's keep them going. Finish with your feet together. So your rest point is right there where your feet are together. I'm going to hit the next rep. Perfect. Give me one last rep on this side. And let's change it up. I'm going to get you to stand right there, Sarah. Let's go from there. Go. Good. So just transitioning straight to the other side. A little bit of misbalance. That's natural. Don't worry too much about it. I want you to keep a steady pace. Now, don't speed up, certainly don't slow down. Let's try and keep that same pace throughout the whole exercise. Good, excellent. So steady movement in, and then the same steady movement out. And we're just making sure that opposite knee is staying nice and straight. We wanna make sure we're getting a good stretch on those adductors. Two more. One last rep, and have a rest. Okay, front delts triangle for this exercise, guys. So watch what I've done. I've pressed my dumbbell together, so it's almost like holding a straight bar. I'm gonna go straight up into a front delt raise. I'm gonna come out, make it lateral, and drop it straight back down. And then from here, we're gonna start again. We're gonna go. So I'm putting those little pauses at each point. Just like that. Your turn. All right, guys, let's get into it. I'm going to work in with you. So you can see my arms are staying soft straight the whole time. And a good way of gauging where you should be at, you notice I'm going face height. I'm keeping the same level going across, dropping straight back down, starting again. So I get to have a little bit of a rest at this point right here, right there. And then I go on to the next one. Opening right up, working the front delts, coming out to the medial delts and dropping straight back down. Two more reps. Last one. And rest. We're gonna work triceps overhead extensions for this one. I'm gonna do it a little bit differently to how you guys might do it. So I'm gonna actually use two dumbbells. 
I'm going to press them up against each other just like that. Keep my arms soft straight. Keep that right up. And from here, I'm going to keep my elbows facing you know, in front of me by my ears just like that. Dropping down, lifting straight back up. One more. Right there. Your turn. Okay, let's get into those tricep overhead extensions, guys. So you can see Sarah's knees are bent, protecting her back. The load is over her head, so you want to make sure you're protecting your back when you're doing this exercise. Now you can see no movement in the elbows. Elbows are staying nice and stationary. They're locked in um, by her ears. They're not hanging out at all. So we're pushing straight up. Now I want to show you guys a bit of a variation. So if you're having a hard time holding two dumbbells together, watch me. What I can do is I can grip with one hand, support with the other hand, and do exactly the same exercise, but I'm gonna do it with just one dumbbell. That's another way of doing it. Let's keep working. We've got three more reps. And time. Okay guys, get ready for action. We're gonna repeat the last three exercises. Okay, let's get into those side squats, guys. So you guys can see, this is a kind of lengthy stance that um, Sarah's taking. So you guys wanna make sure you're doing the same thing. So with this one, the knee drops right over the toe and the other leg is nice and straight. Perfect. Now you're going to have the tendency to lean forward on this one. So we want to try and minimize that. It's natural to lean ever so slightly. But what we don't want to do is we don't want to fold right over that knee. We want to try and keep it um, as vertical as possible. Let's keep them going. Finish with your feet together. So your rest point is right there where your feet are together. I'm going to hit the next rep. Perfect. Give me one last rep on this side. And... Let's change it up. I'm going to get you to stand right there, Sarah. Let's go from there. Go. Good. So just transitioning straight to the other side. A little bit of misbalance. That's natural. Don't worry too much about it. I want you to keep a steady pace. Now, don't speed up. Certainly don't slow down. Let's try and keep that same pace throughout the whole exercise. Good. Excellent. So steady movement in and then the same steady movement out. And we're just making sure that opposite knee is staying nice and straight. We want to make sure we're getting a good stretch on those adductors. Two more. One last rep. And have a rest. All right, guys, let's get into it. I'm going to work in with you. So you can see my arms are staying soft straight the whole time. And a good way of gauging where you should be at, you notice I'm going face height. I'm keeping the same level going across, dropping straight back down, starting again. So I get to have a little bit of a rest at this point right here, right there. And then I go on to the next one. Opening right up, working the front delts, coming out to the medial delts, and dropping straight back down. Two more reps. One last one. And rest. Okay, let's get into those tricep overhead extensions, guys. So you can see Sarah's knees are bent, protecting her back. The load is over her head, so you want to make sure you're protecting your back when you're doing this exercise. Now you can see no movement in the elbows. Elbows are staying nice and stationary. They're locked in um, by her ears. They're not hanging out at all. So we're pushing straight up. Now I want to show you guys a bit of a variation. So if you're having a hard time holding two dumbbells together, watch me. What I can do is I can grip with one hand, support with the other hand, and do exactly the same exercise, but
but I'm going to do it with just one dumbbell. That's another way of doing it. Let's keep working. We've got three more reps. And time. Okay, guys, we're going to work some um, biceps preacher curls for this one. I want you to watch me. So I'm going to use my opposite um, arm to set up a preacher. Now, I can either go hand straight or knuckles, and I'm going to bend out this way. So I've got somewhere to leave my arm. So just, um, just above my elbows right there. I'm going to start to work right through. So because it looks like I've got a bench under my arm, I'm not going to lose form. I'm going to keep that form. I'm going to pump them right out just like that. Your turn. All right, guys, I'm going to do this one with you. So let's set up and let's get straight into it. Nice and tight. So you can see it's a nice full range movement. I'm getting right out to a soft straight. I'm not locking my elbow out, but I'm making it soft straight down the bottom. I'm curling right up. And my elbow's not going anywhere. They're staying nice and still. Let's work that full range of movement. Let's get those guns pumped up. So inhale with your nose, exhale as you're pulling uh, back towards you, hitting the curl. Two more. One more. And change arms. Let's keep it going. So you can see my knees are um, slightly bent on this one and my spine's nice and neutral. So I'm actually really tightening up my back as I do this because I don't want to build an unnecessary uh, torsional load and do some damage to my back. So I want to make sure I'm protecting myself the whole way. Again, arms are staying soft, straight at the bottom. I'm protecting my elbow joint that way as well. Two more. One more. And have a rest. Goblet squats for this next exercise, guys. So watch what I do. I'm actually holding on to one head on my dumbbell. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze my forearms onto the other head. I'm going to bring my hand underneath my chin. I'm going to maintain that throughout the exercise. So I'm going to drop down until my elbows touch my quadriceps and lift straight back up. Now, you don't want to touch your knee. You want to touch your quadriceps, which basically means you're not folding over like this. You want to make sure you're maintaining your posture. And just like that, your turn. Okay, let's get into it, Christina. So you guys can see Christina's holding parallel feet and her knees are dropping right over her toes. Okay, we're not going in or out. We're basically making sure we're protecting our joints. Um, you can see she's also keeping a nice neutral spine throughout the movement, so she's not hunching over at all. Now, this is an excellent way of learning how to do squats because um, your elbows guide you and they essentially get you to the perfect position. Let's work through those. Excellent. You know exactly where to stop because the point your elbow touches your uh, quadriceps, you're almost in a perfect seat. You're in a vertical line and a horizontal line, which is where you want to be. Give me two more reps. You guys can see the weight's staying just underneath Christina's chin and it's not moving. One last rep. And have a rest. Okay guys, we're going to work a sprinkler twist for this one, but we're going to do it a little bit differently. We're not going to create any elevation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold with one hand, support with the opposite hand. I'm going to bring my arm right up into a T. So I'm actually using up my shoulders for this one as well. And I'm going to twist, get to 180 degrees, come back and twist the other way, just like that. Really squeezing through. I'm going to try and maintain the height, maintain that T the whole time round. 
Let's get you guys to try this one. Okay, let's get into that sprinkler twist. Go. Good job. So the important thing with this one is make sure your feet are staying parallel. We don't want to shuffle with the feet at all. Um, you can see all the movement is coming from the waistline and up. So we're getting a really good oblique twist on this one. And because we're maintaining our height, Christina's using her shoulders on this one as well. Perfect, let's keep it going. Now I want you guys to make sure you're hitting 180 degrees on both sides. Really focus on squeezing the, the obliques and get that twist. Excellent, maintain. So make sure your arms don't drop, guys. You want to make sure you're maintaining your height. We've got one last one, Christina. And rest. Okay, guys, get ready for action. We're going to repeat the last three exercises. All right, guys, I'm going to do this one with you. So let's set up and let's get straight into it. Nice and tight. So you can see it's a nice full range movement. I'm getting right out to a soft straight. I'm not locking my elbow out, but I'm making it soft straight down the bottom. I'm curling right up. And my elbow's not going anywhere. They're staying nice and still. Let's work that full range of movement. Let's get those guns pumped up. So inhale with your nose, exhale as you're pulling uh, back towards you, hitting the curl. Two more. One more. And change arms. Let's keep it going. So. You can see my knees are um, slightly bent on this one and my spine's nice and neutral. So I'm actually really tightening up my back as I do this because I don't want to build an unnecessary uh, torsional load and do some damage to my back. So I want to make sure I'm protecting myself the whole way. Again, arms are staying soft straight at the bottom. I'm protecting my elbow joint that way as well. Two more. One more. And have a rest. Okay, let's get into it, Christina. So you guys can see Christina's holding parallel feet and her knees are dropping right over her toes. Okay, we're not going in or out. We're basically making sure we're protecting our joints. Um, you can see she's also keeping a nice neutral spine throughout the movement, so she's not hunching over at all. Now, this is an excellent way of learning how to do squats because um, your elbows guide you and they essentially get you to the perfect position. Let's work through those. Excellent. You know exactly where to stop because the point your elbow touches your uh, quadriceps, you're almost in a perfect seat. You're in a vertical line and a horizontal line, which is where you want to be. Give me two more reps. You guys can see the weight's staying just underneath Christina's chin and it's not moving. One last rep. And have a rest. Okay, let's get into that sprinkler twist. Go. Good job. So the important thing with this one is make sure your feet are staying parallel. We don't want to shuffle with the feet at all. Um, you can see all the movement is coming from the waistline and up. So we're getting a really good oblique twist on this one. And because we're maintaining our height, Christina's using her shoulders on this one as well. Perfect. Let's keep it going. Now I want you guys to make sure you're hitting 180 degrees on both sides. Really focus on squeezing the, the obliques and get that twist. Excellent. Maintain. So 
So make sure your arms don't drop, guys. You want to make sure you're maintaining your height. We've got one last one, Christina. And rest. Alright guys, this next exercise is a close grip press or a tricep press if you like. So the way it works is I'm going to press my dumbbell together like that in a hammer position and I'm going to drop it down to my chest with my elbows tucked right in. I'm going to press straight up. So this is taking some of the pressure off my chest and it's actually putting it on my triceps. Let's get you guys to have a go. Okay, let's go guys. So you guys can see Sarah's elbows are tucked right by her side, so she's keeping the pressure on the triceps, pushing right up into a straight line, and we're very careful to manage the wrist, so you want to make sure there's no movement in the wrist, you want to keep it protected the whole time. Press the two dumbbells together, that's going to help you with stability. Let's keep working. Exhale as you push up, inhale as you reset, touch your chest and lift again. Let's keep working. We've got about 10 seconds left on this one. Two more reps. And time. Crunches for this next exercise. So watch what I do. I'm just grabbing my weight. I'm going to put them together and rest it on my chest. I'm going to work my crunches from here. So squeezing right up back down, resting my head, and as my head touches the floor, I'm going to lift again. Just like that. Your turn. Okay, Sarah, let's get into it. So a couple of things to note with these crunches. Just make sure the dumbbells are just rested on your chest. And what you want is you want um, sort of one head sitting above, one head sitting below so it's nice and comfortable. The other thing you want to make sure you're not doing is I don't want your elbows resting on the ground. Okay, that's cheating. We want to make sure we're not doing that. Let's keep working. Now, having a set of dumbbells like that right on top of you is a really good idea because it's going to stop you from breaking form. So you can see we're, we've got perfect movement here. Um, the, Lower back can't lift off the floor in this position, which is excellent because that's how you want to do it. Let's keep working. Let's go for three more repetitions. And you're done. Okay, we're going to work a hip raise for this one. So watch, I'm going to get my dumbbells and I'm going to put them on my stomach this time, okay? Now, my feet are parallel and the shoulder width, and from here, I'm just going to lift straight up. I'm going to get to this point where I've got a straight line between my knee and my shoulder, and then I'm going to drop back down, rest, and lift again. Really squeezing my glutes and really squeezing my hamstring as well. Your turn. Okay, let's go, Christina. Perfect. So you guys can see the dumbbells are sitting on Christina's stomach. Her elbows are not touching the floor, so we're keeping those off. And basically what this is doing is this is just creating some additional uh, resistance for your hips raise. Now if you're having some difficulty with this move, you can actually lose your dumbbells. Just drop them to the side if you have to. Um, if not, there are quite a few advantages in doing it this way. One is that you've got that additional amount of weight on your stomach and you've got no assistance from your arms, so you're purely relying on your shoulder blades and your feet holding you up. Um, this is a more difficult way of doing this exercise, but it's a really good, really effective uh, way of doing it. Well, let's keep working. Let's go for two more reps, Christina. One last one, we want to make sure we hit that straight line every time and relax. Perfect. Okay guys, get ready for action. We're going to repeat the last three exercises. Okay, let's go guys. So 
you guys can see, Sarah's elbows are tucked right by her side, so she's keeping the pressure on the triceps, pushing right up into a straight line, and we're very careful to manage the wrist, so you wanna make sure there's no movement in the wrist, you wanna keep it protected the whole time. Press the two dumbbells together, that's gonna help you with stability. Let's keep working. Exhale as you push up, inhale as you reset. Touch your chest and lift again. Let's keep working. We've got about 10 seconds left on this one. Two more reps. And time. Okay, Sarah, let's get into it. So a couple of things to note with these crunches. Just make sure the dumbbells are just rested on your chest. And what you want is you want um, sort of one head sitting above, one head sitting below so it's nice and comfortable. The other thing you want to make sure you're not doing is I don't want your elbows resting on the ground. Okay, that's cheating. We want to make sure we're not doing that. Let's keep working. Now, having a set of dumbbells like that right on top of you is a really good idea because it's going to stop you from breaking form. So you can see we're, we've got perfect movement here. Um, the lower back can't lift off the floor in this position, which is excellent because that's how you want to do it. Let's keep working. Let's go for three more repetitions. And you're done. Okay, let's go, Christina. Perfect. So you guys can see the dumbbells are sitting on Christina's stomach. Her elbows are not touching the floor, so we're keeping those off. And basically what this is doing is this is just creating some additional uh, resistance for your hips raise. Now, if you're having some difficulty with this move, you can actually lose your dumbbells. Just drop them to the side if you have to. Um, if not, there are quite a few advantages in doing it this way. One is that you've got that additional amount of weight on your stomach and you've got no assistance from your arms, so you're purely relying on your shoulder blades and your feet holding you up. Um, this is a more difficult way of doing this exercise, but it's a really good, really effective uh, way of doing it. Well, let's keep working. Let's go for two more reps, Christina. One last one, we want to make sure we hit that straight line every time and relax. Perfect. Well done guys, you got through today's workout. Now if you can turn your attention to your in-house instructor, he'll give you three minutes of stretching.
Okay, you're finished for this class, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you could assist us by wiping down your equipment ready for next class, we'd really appreciate that. Thank you. You guys are welcome to join us at Ultimate Pilates or check us out online via YouTube. See you soon. Thank <laughs> you.